All right, so we're gonna be doing a new, new new guide for preseason. So into this team, hmm, they actually have a ton of CC. So a ton of CC, you're gonna to want to go green pet. So typical as we were doing last season with Nunu, we're gonna be looking to three camp. Nothing has really changed in that aspect, and gank if we can early. So I'm gonna go ward my red here. Reset. Go by our sweeper. So most games, what I've been trying is going Moss Stomper, or um, actually generally what I'm going is the blue pet Gust Walker, which gives Nunu some move speed going through bushes, and then generally into teams where they have a lot of CCs this game, they have Shenton, Alia Sleep, Victor Trap, and Vel has a whole bunch, is to go the green pet, because when you fully upgrade it, you get uh, increased tenacity and slow resist. So we're going to start red, and we're going to do the typical clear that we were doing last season, so red into Raptors into Grom, and... There's been a lot of different talking about new new items and whatnot with people liking Jock Show into Sunfire or Sunfire Rush into Jock Show. I don't think Nunu really needs Sunfire anymore to clear effectively. I think he does a fine job, especially with the jungle pet without Sunfire. So we're going to be testing a Radiant Virtue build. It makes Nunu very tanky frontline and helps heal his teammates. We're going to try the no Sunfire Nunu. So a lot of people right now are liking uh, Jock Show, Mom Chill, but we're going to try a Radiant. So three camp, look around the map, what's available. You can look to gank top. Mid was also gankable. You can see what's going on here. Looks like he doesn't have taunt. Okay, he's delayed, but... All right, we'll go see if we can do something mid. I don't know if Victor burned any sums, I don't think so, but he's low. Pot up to be healthy. Looks like Victor either warded or he just knows I'm coming. Get the snowball damage off on him. All lanes are kind of pushed in, so it's hard to gank right now. And you can more or less one-shot crab. There's no more, no longer a shield, but you still do a lot of damage to it. So, Let's see if we can dive Victor here. All right, we can tank that too. We just get out, and we can just more or less one-shot that again. A couple autos, and we're good. So not a whole lot has changed for Nunu into the preseason. He's still an early ganking jungler. Actually a good thing that happened is the bonus treats. So every minute you get a bonus treat, every minute that you aren't clearing a camp, you get increased gold and increased, I could be wrong about the XP, but you get bonus gold. So we're going to go take our raptors, I don't know why Rel is chasing me. So we'll grab this, and most of the time with um, clearing jungle camps right now, you can just attack the big one and your little pet will take care of all the mini ones, so it's pretty nice. We're just gonna try and help Silas here, which looks like, oh he got ignited so he'll need health, but... Okay, we'll back out of that, we actually just got Victor's Flash, which is good. And I'll just go look to take my wolves and then probably regank mid since I know Victor just burned his flash. These are still level one, so we want to get rid of them. Nice, Silas just solo kills his lane. Not a whole lot for us to do, like tank versus tank lane top. We don't really need to force anything. This game I'm mainly looking to play around Silas mid and Lux and Caitlyn bot. All right, I'm just going to take my Gromp and I'll reset. Yeah, huge buff to Nunu Q as well. So not only do you guys have to figure out recalculating smites, and recalculating your Q on objectives. Nunu now does 1200 maximum Q. So hopefully in uh, post editing here, I can throw up the new Q damage and the new Q plus smite damage. Okay, so typical Nunu back, you're looking to buy Dark Seal boots first back as always. Looks like we're gonna be just a bit short of buying AG of the Legion. Um, so I don't think it really matters what you pick up here, really whatever you can afford. So we'll just pick up the Kindle gem and an armor. Shen ulted bot. We're gonna walk down bot because odds are they're gonna try and dive. Lux. Um, the Shen flash. I could kill Misfortune if I could hit her. If I don't, I might have to burn smite. Rel is just gonna jump away. I just want to limit test here. Okay. Rel just got her ankles broken. That could have been in there, but I just wanted to see. Yeah, so max Q and max smite 
is 2400, you're correct there. But I just mean, even prior to, like, I haven't been playing much preseason, I've been busy with life and whatnot, but, um, even like now, right? Like, I do 800 plus the 600, well, so we're doing 1400 damage now, when before it was like 1000, I think, at level 5. Which feels really good for Nunu, like, it puts Nunu in a good spot. Look at that, 800. Nom, nom, nom. Wait, why did it make like the alt sound? I was so confused there for a second. I pressed my R key but nothing happened and I thought it just instantly got cancelled. Alright, Silas can grab that. <laughs> Bro, watching the pet yeet from like river all the way to your jungle camps is the funniest thing ever. And that's the thing, that's how Nunu should be though because before, like even with the 1800s, some people could contest Nunu Smite. Now it's, there's no contest. Okay, so I'm actually gonna look to uh, take my Krugs here too. I've been taking Krugs a bit more in the preseason seen as they change them around in the sense that there's no more two medium or three medium krugs there's just one and then the small ones so i'm gonna go reset by tier two boots they have a lot of ap so i'm just gonna go mercs here actually no, i'll just finish building towards radiant and we're gonna go look for herald we're getting closer to our upgraded pet shen's low i do have ulti up though i don't know if he's all old and uh, um, low enough for me to kill but we can try Oh, okay, they killed her. Shen has Noir. Oh, wait, that was... Why is Kate top? Alright, I didn't expect that, so I wasted Dar, but it's fine. And we can go take Harold. Alright, I'm interested to see what Radiant Virtue feels like. Because in in theory, it sounds really, really good for Nunu. And as you can see, like, I have I have no Bammies, and I have not had an issue clearing any camps. Like, camps actually feel pretty good for Nunu, especially with the Q changes. Again, so there's nothing really crazy going on. It's only 10 minutes. I can go drop this mid for Silas just to continue snowballing and then we can look to go back and buy our mythic item. And Nunu feels tanky. Like he feels so good. And the smite changes too. And feels so good. All right, let's go clear our wolves just cause they're up. Oh yeah, and the Herald changes too. So now plates give more gold, but Harold only takes one and a half plates instead of two. I learned that the other day as well. Okay, so we're gonna go back and buy Radiant Virtue. So the main thing with Radiant Virtue is, as you can see, Guiding Light, the new passive. When you cast your ultimate, you transcend, increasing your max health by 10%. Huge on Nunu. And then you also heal your allies, which is crazy. All right, we'll type to you. Let's grab this. And as I said, they have a lot of CC, so we'll grab Mercs. And then because they are majority AP, we're going to be looking to build Force of Nature next. So the main thing we're trying to do with this build right now is you're going to be going Radiant Virtue into Boots, and then you're going to be looking to build either Frozen Heart into Force of Nature or Force of Nature into Frozen Heart. So that depends on if they have lots of AP or if they have lots of AD. Um, you can flex Randuins as well if you want Randuins, but it's only really good into melee crit champs. I'm excited to test uh, Radiant Virtue if we have a team fight here, but we're kind of destroying them, so we might just not contest. But yeah, from what I've been looking at, Sunfire, like, it purely just gives HP and armor now, right? I don't really think... This might be anybody. I might get slept and then have a... Oh, Victor. You begin dealing 15 plus 1% bonus magic damage. It's not that good. They removed the ability haste, they dropped the price, but it's like... I don't know. I don't think Nunu necessarily needs it anymore. Alright, so it looks like the team is just turtling hard. Yeah, we want to get out of this. I do want to test this though. Look at that healing. Well, wow, that really dropped my FPS though. Look at this man, we're tearing it up. 10 stonks, we'll take a red too. The other really good change for Nunu is that they nerfed counter jungling, which is huge. So like you used to get punished a lot three camping, 
as a uh, Nunu and looking to gank because then the enemy could just invade your jungle and take whatever you didn't take, right? And they would get like full XP, full gold value. Now they don't and it takes them longer to take it. So it's just, there's been so many indirect buffs for Nunu. Try and get our jungle pet upgraded here so you guys can see what it's about. We're on a Chemtech map, so if you guys didn't know as well, the uh, jungle fruit now gives you move speed, gives you a shield, no longer slows you. This little sweeper gives you move speed towards the destination. It reveals wards and it takes all uh, three health or two if it's a regular ward. So you could, you definitely could, Louie. I like the theory crafting behind asking why we're not going to Spirit Visage, but Force of Nature is just such a good item. When you look at it, how much you spend, like the value for the gold you spend is incredible because not only do you get 70 magic resist and five move speed, you also get a bonus magic damage and more move speed. So it's just like the most stats for your gold. Spirit Visage would feel good, but it's like for what you're spending, you know, 50 magic resist and you're really just paying for balanced vitality. So it could, I don't know if it would directly increase the healing on your teammates. It might be a decent item to flex, like if they had more AD and then I built Spirit Visage second after uh, like Frozen Heart or Randuins. Okay, so we got the upgraded jungle pet. So now we take 30% uh, reduced damage from Epic Monsters while two or more. And 102, wait, doesn't it tell you that you get... Oh yeah, the shield regenerates after 10 seconds while shield this lasts for three seconds after shield breaks. Gain 20% tenacity and slow resist. So I'm just gonna go take Harold here. And look at how tanky Nunu looks. I have two items and look how tanky I look. This was not a thing last season. You would build like Sunfire into Frozen Heart and you would have less HP than like a Misfortune building full damage. I think, I personally think Nunu feels really good right now. It's just kind of tweaking and fine tuning which build is best, but I think Radiant Virtue is like sleeper OP. I want to get into a fight and see the healing though. I kind of want to like into fight. XD. I kind of want to like into fight so I can see my healing, you know? Okay, we'll have to do a quick U-turn here. Okay, let's see the healing on Caitlyn. So we kept Caitlyn alive. We've healed 700 health so far, and I think we've had like, what, two fights with that item where we've ulted? That's actually incredible. I know 700 doesn't seem like a lot, but when you consider Lux has 1300 health and Caitlyn has... 1600 and we've helped two fights. I'm just gonna save some gold and look to upgrade uh, to Medjai's. That feels really, really good though. So you, I increased my health by almost 300. I heal 55 health every three seconds. It's pretty crazy. I feel so tanky. I'm not used to this. Look at that. Yoink. Blue buff for free. I'm gonna get Victor trapped over the wall here probably. Yep. Let's get the bad ulti off. I might die here. No. We're insane. Dude, look at that, like, look at the sustain, man. Oh my god. I can't wait to see the uh, the breakdown on healing and self-mitigated damage. Crazy, man. I literally felt invincible there. Actually felt invincible. We'll ping Baron. Get Medrise. And this is what I was saying, too, about um, my mobile fire guide as well. That a lot of the games, you're not really going to be getting past two or three items if you're playing well. Oh, let's test this. So, boom, boom speed. Look at that. 600 move speed. She eating through the jungle. And we gotta go twice as far. Boom! Right to Baron. Oh, they FF. We shit on him a little bit too hard. They FF. But I'm interested to see the stat breakdown. Yep. Yep. Okay, so damage doesn't really matter. Nunu's a tank, so. Healing done. 10,000 healing. Ally healing. So 1,000 ally healing. Obviously didn't shield any. All the damage. Self-mitigated 20k damage. So that's it. That's pretty solid. I mean, Radiant Virtue feels really good. I think it's an item that might actually uh, outperform Jock Show into Sunfire. Test it out for sure.